Ecuadorans are struggling with an unprecedented economic crisis. The question for many is, who to blame? Their current centrist president, Lenin Moreno, or his socialist predecessor, Rafael Correa? That may be the key to Sunday's presidential elections. Like the current president, taxi driver Emiliano Pibaque is confined to a wheelchair. He backed Moreno in the last election, hoping the poor would get a better break. But things have gone from bad to worse since the government implemented dramatic belt tightening measures imposed by the IMF. Now, Pibaque plans to vote for the return of left-wing populism. Because they say that Correa stole and many other things, but in fact he did lots of public works projects, while the current government hasn't done anything except persecute opponents. There's 16 official presidential candidates, but the most significant one isn't even on the ballot, at least not in person. Instead, 35-year-old economist Andres Arauz is representing his former boss, Rafael Correa, who is living in Belgium, where he moved before an Ecuadorian court sentenced him to eight years in prison on corruption charges. Arauz is leading in the polls, promising to bring back the days of heavy social spending, while campaigning with photos of his mentor. Correa says there'd be no question about the election outcome if he'd been allowed to run. If I'd been a candidate, there's no doubt we'd win by a landslide. They destroyed the country, persecuted me and my allies, and slandered us. I had to return to politics and defend our legacy, our honor, and the country. It's that prospect that frightens people like Luis Herrera. His car parts business went from boom to bust under Correa. He hopes Ecuadorans will vote for centrist banker and businessman Guillermo Lasso of the Creating Opportunities Party. We made the mistake of giving Correa too much power, and he did what he pleased as though he owned the country. He didn't take advantage of the years of bonanza when oil prices were sky high. They stole all the money. While trailing in third place in the polls, ecologist Jaco Perez is offering a middle ground between populist socialism and a mainstream free market economy. But whoever wins will have more than the economy to deal with. According to a recent poll, when Ecuadorians were asked where they thought the country would be in five years, 80% answered the same or worse than now. That shows that governability may be the key problem. And unless that perception can be reversed through elections, many warn it may be the preamble to social upheaval far more widespread than what Ecuador has already experienced. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.